Hey, what's happening guys? Today it's inside this bag. I've got some stuff that I ordered from AliExpress. Surprisingly, not a long time ago. In fact, let me see when I ordered these. Give me one second. Uh, April... April 28th. And these arrived uh, just this past Friday, which would have been, what, May the 13th. So April 28th, May the 13th. Not bad at all. Also, before we start opening this bag, I've received a lot of inquiries about Uncle Rob's magic solder flux. Now with included ball bearing for your shaking pleasure. Well, Uncle Rob's gotten back to me. You can order it directly from him. Send him an email to robert1636 at protonmail.com. He's asking $3.50 a tube. I think it's a bargain. Let us reach into the bag and find inside the bag another bag. Oh, wait. Did I miss something? Is there something else here? There is. Oh, two other bags. Interesting. All right, so let's see what's uh what's in this first bag first. Actually, this would be the... Uh -huh. These are 0805... Uh, I think there should be self-blinking LEDs. One second. No, these are 1206 red, uh, not flashing LEDs. So I was incorrect, which is often the case. All these are from the same store. Oh, the LEDs. The LEDs were five dollars for a thousand of them. So cool. Did a very nice job packing all this stuff there at Alley, so I'm appreciative of that. Alley Express employees, you took your time, thought about the end user. That's a great thing. All right, what do we got here first? First up, we have this lovely LiPo battery tester. So, uh, let me go find out about that on Allie's page, huh? Okay, so this thing was $3.22. It can hold uh, two 18650 batteries. Doesn't like the kind with the nipples on them. See, that's that one. I don't know, almost go in. There we go. That was a tight fit. Turn it on. <laughs> T3 blinking down here. We're showing zero volts, I guess. See what this button does. Not apparently not much of anything. How about this one? Milliamp hours. Milliwatt hours. Reading 3.1 volt. Oh, is there a... Uh... Let me check the website, see if there's instructions for this thing. All right, learning more. This side is the power supply for the battery. This side is the battery to be tested. This button switches between watt hours, milliwatt hours, and milliamp hours. This sets the discharge voltage, and I assume this is the start button. I can't get this in there. Yeah, looks like that one's much longer. Let me see if I can find a shorter one. Okay, here's one. This is a Golisi 
2600 milliamp hours and it doesn't have the nipples so it should fit in here with no problem turn it on goes through its thing 3.9 volts no milliamp hours no milliwatt hours because we're not doing anything and if we set our discharge voltage to say 3.1 Trying to figure out how to how to start the damn discharge. Three point one. That light is completely out now. Hmm. One moment. Okay, so it's just a short press. And according to the instructions, uh, discharge current is about 500 milliamps through this 10 watt 8 ohm resistor. So we're seeing voltage, milliamp hours, milliwatt hours, and it can be powered externally from 5 to 12 volts. I will put a link to it down below. Who's next? Yeah, I got a couple of these. These are just plain old 18 650 single battery holders without the wires. You have to do your own soldering or you could put them through a, a PC board. Oh, now there's an interesting idea. I wonder why I got those, huh? <laughs> So these were 14 cents, and the name on them is Bailamu. This almost sounds like a Spanish dancing cow. Anyway, 14 cents a piece, so that's pretty cool. Well, what's next? These are WS2812B, which are individually addressable programmable lights I just thought that might be something fun to play with yeah I'm trying to find my uh... there we go one moment okay so this was a dollar 88 and you can see it has screw mounting holes in it Power this with 5 volts. Ground VCC out. Ground VCC in. So the data comes in from the right and out through the left. Course next. Now this is one that I've been somewhat excited about. I want to play with this. This is an ultrasonic thing. There's the little circuit board, and there's the little disc, which I should be able to put into some water and get missed. At least I think that's how it works. Let's find out. All right, so I brought a power bank. There's some water in a plate. Adjust the camera there a little bit. So the way they show this used on the website is they have just placed that in some water. Look at that. Dude, that works great. And this was a dollar. Again, there will be a link down below where you can get one of these. 
Oh yes, and it also came with this wicking thing. Wicka, wicka, wicka. <laughs> oh, we are just making a mess and throwing stuff everywhere today, aren't we? I don't care. Oh, but up. This is a uh, little DC voltage gripper grabber here. Get the plastic off of it with my big sausage fingers, huh? So you can see it's got a mount that holds about an inch and a half. But you could mount that somewhere. All right, let's bring up the power supply, which is currently set for five volts. And that's showing 5.04. There's 25. Oh, what did I do wrong there? There we go, 25 volts. And that looks pretty good. It's an orangish color. It's not quite red, but I like it. Let's see how much this one costs. This was $1.79. And again, I will put links down below. Up next, oh, I guess I bought one, two, three. I bought four of those AA or AA 18650 holders. Dude. And here. One of my favorite things to play around with, the things you shouldn't play around with, high voltage. So this is just your basic, you know, whatever they want to call it, negative ion generator, whatnot. Take a look here. All right, what I did here is I went over to the computer to check out the price on this, and I started reading this. I said, I got to show the guys this. This baby is suitable for high voltage testing, teaching, product development, etc. Yeah, bro. And it is a dollar thirty nine. So I'm not gonna hook this up today. We've got a few of these, but uh, this takes up to four point eight volts and says it should produce an arc of up to fifteen millimeters, one point five centimeters. $1.39. And then we have my fingers, which ah, refuse to work to open these little bags. This is not what I think I bought. I thought I bought banana plugs to alligator. Apparently, I bought USB to alligator. Is that what I did? Let's have a look see. Yep, sure did. But hey, it was only 27 cents, so who cares? And I made another mistake anyway. This was supposed to be a little mini oscilloscope that I thought was $1.87, but that was only the plastic. All right. Now, since you're stuck around so long, I'm going to give you a reward. Hang on. I'm going to have to open this box upside down because they've got the... Uh, The shipping label down under all this tape. This is the way I ship stuff. It's a great way to do it. And uh, if you do it like this, you don't have to worry about your label getting wet and ruined. It does make it difficult to take off, though. So you're going to see reviews of these coming up here very soon. But remember, a few years ago, we worked with Zotec. Well, these are their new latest bestsellers. <laughs> the batteries just fell out. That's all right. So there's this one. And this one that has Bluetooth. And this one. So you'll be seeing all those very soon. It's Sunday afternoon. I don't really feel like building anything. It's a really nice day. I'm going to go sit on the porch with Dogley. So I thought today we'd just open up some boxes. Again, I'll put links down below. You can get to all the stuff you saw here. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to Zotech. That's it. I'm out. Peace.